Wormwood has fallen on the U.S. Descended upon, I guess you would say. And most people have no idea. It's spoken of in the Bible. And most people have translated it as a green star. Well, it is a green star. But as most things in the Bible, it's not a carnal thought of green star in the sky. It's this green star. This is the flag of Morocco. And see, Bible prophecy and understanding Bible prophecy is for he who hath wisdom and studies and reads scripture line by line, precept by precept, not just taking random verses and saying, oh, it must be a star. Let's look up into the sky. You see, we have this man right here that our current administration just tapped as the health vaccine czar of sorts. His name is Monsef Suri. He is from Morocco. But who is this Monsef Suri? First, let's look at what his name means. What does the name Monsef mean? The name Monsef is of Arabic origin and it means he who hath makes the difference between good and evil. Where have we heard of good and evil in the Bible? Yeah, that's right. Genesis 3, 3 through 5. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. The serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. For God knows that it is of the day that you eat, and your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Yes, the first lie in, in the Bible, the first um, way that man was fooled by such evil things will also come back around and it is here so but then you're probably still thinking what in the world does that mean how does this connect to this man who is this Monsef Mohammed Slui well he worked for Glasgow Smith and Kine, Klein's vaccine department for 30 years, retiring 2017, and now has been tapped as the Operation Warp Speed Czar. What has he done in his life? Well, interesting enough, he graduated from Mohammed High School in Casablanca. What is the meaning of Casablanca? White House. Huh, that's interesting. Then he went to Harvard and the Tufts University. He speaks Arabic, English, and French. Oh my. So let's see what Abed he wrote in 2013. It's time to further incentivize medical innovation. That's really interesting. He introduced the term electroceutical to broadly encompass medical devices that use electrical, mechanical, or light stimulus, stimulation to affect electric, electrical signals in relevant tissue types. Light? Hmm. That's interesting. And 
he oversaw the purchase of the human genome sciences for over $3 billion during his time at Glasgow Smith and Klein. Um, Slewy oversaw the development of numerous vaccines, including cervix, to prevent cervical cancer. Um, yeah. Um, Rotor... <laughs> Isn't that the one that killed a whole bunch of girls? Uh, yeah. Well, anyway. Sheesh. And, and I think it made, it made it a lot of people sterile. But let's continue. Um, and then Rotorex to prevent... Gastro and tight gastroenteritis in children and an Ebola vaccine. He also spent 27 years researching a malaria vaccine. Wow. Pretty amazing, right? What is this? So, what did this do? Oh, preventing intestinal. Interesting. Operation Warp Speed was managed by White House Senior Advisor Jared Kushner with the support of the United States Health Department, I mean, State's Department of, you know, now they are working on this Operation Warp Mind, <laughs> my bad, Operation Warp Speed, and they are going to ensure with the full force of our wonderful military to ensure that everyone gets their vaccine. Yes, the full force of the military. I'm not kidding. If you haven't heard that yet, you might want to look into it. Now, why in the Sam Hill would they use the full force of the military to do such a thing? And why would they tap this very odd guy? This isn't good, y'all. This isn't good at all. This is Wormwood descending upon the U.S. And we will see Saturn rising very soon. So Mr. Monsef is going to be our <clears throat> new savior. If you know what I mean. He's going to have this Operation Warp Your Brain I mean, warp speed, and ensure that everyone is injected with this very interesting vaccine. It's weird how they put that green thing in it. Almost telling you exactly what they're doing. Because there's no green in the vaccine. Now, but what does this have to do with wormwood? Well, wormwood was a green star, right? Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I'm going to feed them wormwood and make them drink poisonous water. For from them, for the prophets of Jerusalem, pollution has gone forth into all the land. And then when we see wormwood in Revelation, it states that wormwood was a star that fell on water bodies, making them bitter and killing many. You see, when you're reading prophecy, water doesn't mean water. Stars don't mean stars. You have to be able to interpret it. And the way you interpret it, like I've said, is by comparing it to other scriptures. Scripture interprets scripture. Well, that's a condensed version. It actually says, in the name of the star called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So the waters, the water of life, when you're speaking of water in prophecy, you're speaking of... Okay, uh, water can mean multiple things. It can mean affliction, eternal life, spiritual cleansing, faith, many peoples. But in this case, so we're speaking of, it says, and the name of the star called Wormwood. When we're speaking of the name in this case, it's the surname. Okay? His surname or from where he's coming from. Morocco, the green star. Okay? 
And then um, let's look at other passages that spoke of wormwood. Amos 5, 7, Proverbs 5 and 4, Jeremiah 23, 15, Lam Lamentations 3, 15, uh, Lamentations 3, 19. And in all of these cases, it's talking about certain judgment due to, let's, let's read them. Ye who turn, you, I'm sorry, ye who turn judgment to wormwood and leave off righteousness in the earth. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Jeremiah, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will feed them, even the people with wormwood, and give them water of gall to drink. Jeremiah, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, and make them drink of the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into the land. You understand this? It's talking about because of all of the horrendous things that have been done, all of the heathen behavior, this will descend upon. He hath filled me with bitterness. He hath made me drunk with wormwood. Remembering my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gall. So, um... There you go, folks. That's what this is. This um, vaccination that Mr. Monsef, the man of good and evil, will be heading up. Operation Warp Your Brain is going to do damage. If you have not been saved, or if you don't know if you were saved, please... Um, ensure that you are. We are no doubt in the end times. And for anybody that is pre-trib rapture and still confused, well that's because pre-trib rapture is a false doctrine. Um, and that's why so many are going to be, uh, that's why that pre-trib rapture is, doctrine is so dangerous y'all. Because let's just take it from the words of Jesus himself. When he was asked. For whosoever the carcasses is. There will the eagles be gathered to. Immediately after tribulation. Of the days shall the sun be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Immediately after tribulation. When is the coming of the Son of Man? They asked, when, is the, the, when are you coming back, Jesus? When are you coming back? And this is what he explained. Immediately after tribulation. I'm going to do an entire video on the pre-trib false doctrine. Because it's so dangerous. Because people aren't looking at these things. They don't think that these things are occurring right now. Because they think that they are going to be raptured before any of this occurs. Y'all have a wonderful day. Please share this. This is very important. Obviously. Have a blessed day.